hey guys you're welcome back to as in this kitchen you're very welcome if today is your first time of coming across my channel a warm welcome to you thanks so much for stopping by so on today's episode i'm making this mouth watering delicacy it's one pot chicken and rice this is so delicious and yummy okay so if you want to know how i made this recipe stay tuned and Let's get started. For this recipe, I'll be needing my chicken thighs. Yeah, I've gone ahead to wash that very well. They're all clean. So I'll start by seasoning it with my coriander powder, some bouillon powder, vegetable powder, chicken seasoning powder, minced ginger, minced garlic, and my grill seasoning. I love this flavor a whole lot. It gives amazing taste to the chicken. So I'm going to add just a tablespoon of that. So I'll be putting on my hand gloves and I'll mix thoroughly to combine make sure you mix that well for the ingredients to get well into the chicken okay when i'm done i'm going to seal well with my cellophane and i'm going to place that in my fridge to allow that marinate for at least one hour For the sauce, I'll be needing three red bell pepper, two fresh tomatoes, and one habanero pepper. I'm going to wash and clean that behind the camera and cut into tiny cubes. And we are done cutting that into tiny cubes. You can blend yours, depending on what you want, yeah? So I'm done with that. Over here, I checked on our chicken and it is done marinating. This is one hour after, okay? So let's move over to the next stage. To my empty pot, I introduced my olive oil. Make use of vegetable oil, coconut oil, any oil of your choice, but not red palm oil, okay? So I'm going to allow that heat up and I'm going to introduce our marinated chicken. I'll be letting this fry 7 minutes on each side till it turns golden brown. After 7 minutes of frying, I flipped to the other side. I'll be letting this other side fry completely for 7 more minutes. And this is 14 minutes in total. We are done with browning the chicken. So I'm going to remove everything all out and reduce my oil. To the same oil, I'm going to introduce my chopped onions. I'm going to stir a little bit and introduce my minced ginger and my minced garlic. When I'm done adding that, I'm going to mix it well and stir fry for 2 minutes till the onions become translucent. Then I'm going to add my chopped peppers, tomatoes and habanero pepper. I'm going to mix this thoroughly to combine and leave to fry for at least 6 to 7 minutes. Yeah. And after 7 minutes of frying, I stirred well and introduced my chili salt. Use a regular salt if that's what you have, okay? So next I'll be introducing my seasoning cube when I'm done with the salt. Next I'm going to stir everything well and I'll be adding my coconut milk. guys. Do not prepare this recipe without adding a coconut milk. Honestly, this takes it to another level. You're going to cook this twice a week. I'm telling you, like twice a week in your house, okay? You're going to love this recipe and I give you my word. 
yeah so to this i'm going to introduce my parboiled basmati rice this rice has been pre-cooked yeah so i'm going to mix everything thoroughly to combine next i'll be going in there with my chicken stock yeah oh my goodness guys my kitchen smells lovely at this moment please i would urge you to try this recipe please <laughs> When I'm done with adding my chicken stock, I'm going to mix again and sprinkle my scallions. That's my spring onions. Make use of basil, parsley if that's what you have. And if you don't wish to add vegetables, it's all good. It's okay. Yeah. So next step, I'm going to add our fried chicken on top of this gorgeous rice. And I'll cover my pot and let this cook for 25 minutes. So guys, after 25 minutes of cooking, our gorgeous one pot chicken and rice is ready. Okay, so I'm also ready to serve. This is a special recipe I'm going to guarantee you that when you make it for your friend, your visitor, anybody coming around to visit you, they will surely thank you with all their hearts. I'm telling you, you're going to prepare this food like two or three times in a week in your household. This stays so delicious. I'm telling you like very delicious. Yeah. So guys, Thank you so much for staying with me throughout this episode. I truly appreciate. Until I come your way next time, remain blessed. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.